Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make some Gaps Legal Almond Flour Carrot Cake Muffins. So this recipe is based on the carrot cake recipe from this book, Gap Stage by Stage with Recipes by Becky Plotner. It's an amazing book. I highly, highly recommend it. It's full of incredible information that answers so many questions about following the Gaps diet and it has so many delicious recipes. But I've tweaked this recipe just a little bit to turn it from regular carrot cake to carrot cake muffins. So let's go ahead and get started. To make this recipe turn out the best, both for having it turn out light and fluffy and to make it easier to digest, it takes a little bit of preparation and planning ahead. I fermented my almond flour by mixing it with enough kefir, you could also use yogurt or whey, to bring it to be in like a cookie dough consistency. And then I let it sit on the counter for 48 hours. You can do 24 also, but I find that 48 hours gives the best results. For the walnuts in this recipe, I also soaked, or actually fermented them as well to make them tastier and easier to digest. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to whip one cup of grass-fed butter with about a quarter of a cup of local honey. And I'm going to do this until it's light and fluffy. Next, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Next, I'm going to add four pastured eggs, meaning eggs that come from hens on pasture, and then just mix those in. And then I'm going to add in my fermented almond flour. And then just mix that so that it's nice and combined. Then after that, I'm going to add two cups of shredded carrots. In this case, I'm actually using the carrot pulp left over from making carrot juice. So it's a good way to kind of repurpose that. And then I'm also going to add one cup of my fermented walnuts, as well as one cup of raisins. And then I'm just going to mix all of that in to combine it. In this recipe, I use quite a bit less honey than the original recipe calls for, and then I let the raisins take over some of the sweetness. So that way it keeps it as more of a snack type of an item rather than a super sweet dessert. That way you can enjoy it as, you know, more of a snack muffin. Or if you wanted to, you could dress it up and have it be like actual carrot cake muffins by making some of the cream cheese frosting that Becky has in her book. Once that's been mixed really well, I'm going to take it and put it into my muffin pan. I'm using these unbleached chlorine free muffin cup liners. And then I'm going to go bake these in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. And that time of baking will depend on how much moisture is in your recipe. After about 20 minutes, you can start testing. I like to just touch the top of them and see if they bounce back lightly, and that usually means that they're done. Okay, so now they are done out of the oven. So here's what they look like. They smell so good. Just little delicious portions of carrot cake goodness. I'll cut them open, put some grass fed butter on there while they're still warm, and enjoy. 
All right, I hope that you enjoyed seeing how to make these delicious carrot cake muffins with almond flour that are completely GAPS legal once you're to the point where you're having nuts and fruit. They make a really delicious snack, and like I said, you could dress them up and make them into little mini carrot cakes if you wanted to with some of cream cheese frosting. Becky Plotner has a recipe for the cream cheese frosting in this book. I definitely, like I said, recommend getting this book. It is such a wealth of great information. Make sure to check out the other GAPS diet videos that I have on my channel. I have lots of them. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see how to make, whether that's GAPS legal food or just nourishing traditions, wise traditions type of food. I'd love to hear suggestions. I will have a link in the description box below where you can grab your own copy of this book as well as where you can get these non-toxic cupcake liners or muffin liners. I'll also have links below where you can find one of my favorite places to buy organic groceries and meats and pantry staple items. On my blog I have my member exclusive password protected subscriber library where all my free ebooks and checklists and printables and everything are all in one spot so there will be a link below where you can get access to that. If you like this video give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think might want to learn how to make some GAPS legal carrot cake muffins. Here on my channel I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.